ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the launch of the much anticipated sports car from Mercedes AMG and Mercedes AMG GTR and the Roadstar. To all of you who have been curiously asking us on Twitter, Facebook, and in person, when are you getting those cars? Well, the wait has just ended, friends. This stunning sports car do not have a predecessor in India, and it's going to redefine the performance car segment all over again. For us at Mercedes-Benz India, the celebration of 50 years of AMG has just stepped up by about 1,000-odd horsepowers today. And to tell us more about that, uh, may I request Mr. Roland Folger, Managing Director and CEO of Mercedes-Benz India, to kindly come on stage and share your thoughts. So. Thank you very much. A huge contribution of Mercedes-Benz's success has to be attributed to our performance sub-brand Mercedes-AMG. Mercedes-AMG is an all-out sports car and performance brand that has spearheaded our conquest into the tough performance cars segment. The brand pledge of driving performance illustrates the passion and the inner drive of all the employees to keep on questioning the status quo to push the boundaries of what is possible and to facilitate intensive driving experiences for the customers with dynamic performance cars. Mercedes-Benz is renowned for its opulence, unsurpassed luxury quotient, unrivaled rear cabin experience and driving dynamics. Its lounge-like interiors personify modern luxury, as we call it. With its clear architecture, refined materials and stylish controls, the interior of a Mercedes-Benz embodies sensuous elegance. Surely it's the best place you want to be when you're on the move. But for those all our driving enthusiasts, it's the AMG brand with its motto of driving performance that brings sheer excitement to the thrill of driving. It is through our AMG offerings that Mercedes-Benz strikes a fine balance between backseat uh, comfort and dynamic drive experience. Our highly evolved portfolio ensures an adequate take care of both type of customers as per their requirements as well as their choice. A Mercedes-Benz AMG is thus a perfect combination of those both worlds. To those who seek driving performance from their car, be it on track or on the daily tarmac, we are proud to say that which today's launch, we will have as many as 12 AMG performance cars on offer for our Indian customers. This, by far, is the largest portfolio of performance cars by any manufacturer here in India. Starting from the ZLA45 to the mighty G63, from the C43 to the AMG GTR, we have an AMG for every segment and every customer's requirement. With 12 performance cars in the portfolio and having a solid network of five AMG performance centers, with two more AMG performance centers by the end of this month, AMG has an estimated 50% market share in the performance motoring segment here in India. Like global markets in India too, the performance segment has been dominated by the AMG products. And it's not a fact that the average age of an Indian customer of a Mercedes-Benz is just 37 years. And this is one of the youngest customer age groups in the entire Mercedes-Benz world around the globe. We have got the attention of young Indians not only for Mercedes-Benz, but also for an AMG. Therefore, the average AMG customer age in India is 30 years, which is a notable seven years lesser than that of an average Mercedes-Benz buyer. And again, AMG, three distinctive letters embody automotive high performance, exclusivity, dynamic driving pleasure globally. I would like to take you through some of the milestones in the history of the brand to which the world of motorsports owns so much. I'm sure all of you know who these two gentlemen are. AMG was founded in Burgstall in 1967 by Hans-Werner Aufrecht and Erhard Melcher as an engineering office, design, and testing for the development of racing engines. The letter stood for Aufrecht, Melcher, and Großasbach, the birthplace of Aufrecht. So the heart of every Mercedes-Benz AMG is its engine. Each one of them is hand-built in our engine factory at Affalterbach in Germany. And in contrast to large series production, Mercedes, AMG, inline v, uh, fours, V8s and V12 engines are traditionally assembled by hand according to the one-man 
one engine philosophy, beginning from a raw cast engine block to the very final step of adding engine oil, our craftsmen put the life into the MG engine and their signature is then inscribed onto a plate which is then fixed on the engine cover. One man, one engine ties in with Mercedes-Benz AMG's unique motorsport genes which exude innovative strength by virtue of the technology transfer from racing series, whether it's Formula One or the DTM, the German Touring Wagen Meisterschaften. Mercedes-Benz looks back on a great sporting tradition, one which is closely associated with the history of the automotive brand and still shapes its philosophy to this very day. After all, at Mercedes-Benz, we are always enjoyed a close connection with sporting attributes such as team spirit, responsibility, competition and fairness, which also apply to our ultra-modern and highly technically advanced vehicles. With 100,000 units delivered in 2016 alone, Mercedes-AMG set a new sales record and ended its 50th year on an indeed very high note. We have already launched two AMGs in the month of June, AMG G63, the edition 463, and the AMG GLS 63. What better way to celebrate these 50 glorious years than to introduce a car which had had no predecessor in India, the AMG GLC 43 Coupe. Today, we add two more to that never-seen-before list with the AMG GTR and the AMG GT Roadster. Mercedes was born on the racetrack, and what better way to demonstrate this other than on the unmatched record and domination of Formula One. AMG literally rules the racetrack at its highest level of competitiveness, which is the Formula One, as we all know. After winning in 2014 and 15, we raised the bar again to secure the title in 2016. Mercedes-Benz AMG also rules the DTM. Mercedes-Benz are the most successful mark ever in DTM, having secured 10 driver's titles, 13 team and 6 manufacturer's titles. The engineers at Affalterbach have been more than successful in taking that award-winning racing technology and infusing it into the performance cars we offer to our discerning customers around the world and in India. That being said, and with the success of the ASLS AMG, Mercedes AMG had another go at developing a car from the ground up. Unveiled in 2014, the Mercedes AMG GT model series was the second sports car to be developed entirely in house by Mercedes Benz AMG in Affalterbach. And now we have a family of GTs globally, all of which are wildly successful. It is my pleasure, therefore, to launch two brilliant cars from the GT family in India today. First up today, it is the topless beauty, the Mercedes AMG GT Roadster. But before you actually see this beauty in the flesh, let's take a look at a short video. AMG, 50 years of driving performance.
look towards your left first. This left. Towards the center. And then towards your right. Mr. Falga, can I request you to move on to the right hand side of the car? Thank of you. Course. Well, if that's the beautiful red car, we still have another product coming. May I request everyone to kindly settle down and Mr. Folger can resume the presentation. We'll have ample time at the end of the press conference for further photo opportunities. Thank you, friends. Help us resume the presentation, please. Thank you. Back to your seats, please. You'll have a lot of time after the presentation. There are colleagues who are behind you. May I request our photographer friends to kindly settle down. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Falga. Thank you very much, Hector. Yes. Now, with the drop top, this car is even more gorgeous. What makes it even more fascinating is what's below the hood. The engine powering the AMG GT Roadster is a V8 4-liter. It puts out a 476 horsepower and a maximum torque of 630 newton meters. Zero to 100 is achieved in a flat four seconds. The seven speed dual clutch transmission ensures smooth gear changes in all driving modes. The first gear of the AMG SpeedShift DCT7 speed sport transmission has a higher ratio, while the seventh gear and the final drive have a lower ratio. This makes for an even more agile acceleration and very fast responses to sudden accelerator movements. The driver is able to set the AMG GT Roadster to his or her individual requirements using AMG Dynamic Select Controller. The free transmission modes C, S, S+, and the individually programmable setup, I for individual, allow a broad range of driving experiences from comfortable to extremely sporty. The MG rear axle differential lock ensures even better transaction and lateral dynamics. Its sensitive and fast control raises the critical limit of vehicle dynamics to an absolutely new and stunning level. It not only further improves the traction of the drive wheels, but also increases the critical cornering speed. This ensures that the driver is able to accelerate out of corners earlier and with more power thanks to the improved traction. The Mercedes AMG GT Roadster is equipped with the AMG Ride Control Sport Suspension with adaptive damping system as standard. The electronically controlled system automatically adapts the dampening on each wheel to the current driving condition, speed, as well as road conditions. The customer can set the adaptive damping in three stages, Comfort, Sport, as well as Sport Plus. The electromechanical speed-sensitive sport steering has a variable ratio in the AMG GT Roadster. It stands out thanks to the AMG-specific rack and pinion ratio with its precise, highly authentic feedback. The clearly defined center bearing and authentic feedback likewise contribute to the optimum steering feel. The three-layer fabric soft top opens and closes fully automatically at the push of a button in a mere 11 seconds and can do this up to driving speeds of 50 kilometers per hour. The roof is supported by a lightweight magnesium steel aluminum structure, which of, of course helps to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. The AMG performance seats are also op optionally available with the AirScarf neck level heating system, which makes open air driving enjoyable even in low outside temperatures. So AirScarf is likewise optionally available for the standard fit AMG sport seats. The air vent is seamlessly integrated into the seat's head restraint area. The draft stop between the rollover bars provides effective protection from drafts for the neck and of the rear of the head. The transparent polycarbonate design blends in elegantly with the car's silhouette. Rear visibility is not affected at all by that draft stop. Under the Designio platform, which we had introduced in 2015, a host of customization options will be available for the AMG GT Roadster. To give you a quick example, the soft top roof can be chosen in three different colors, black, beige, or even red. Now for the price, 
The Mercedes AMG GT Roadster is priced at 2.19 crores and is available for sale across all of our dealerships in India. Naturally, supply needs to be discussed, but that's how we go. Moving on now for the absolute beast of the green hell, as announced, the record breaker, the AMG GTR. But before I go into the specifics, let's catch a quick video of this spectacular car. of driving performance. So from the world's most demanding racetrack directly onto the road. Never before has Mercedes AMG packed so much motorsport technology into a production vehicle than into the new AMG GTR. The exclusive AMG Green Hell Magno special paintwork leaves no doubt as to the sports car's origin, having spent most of its development time in the Green Hell of the Nürburgring racetrack. It combines the driving dynamics of our AMG GT3 racing car with the everyday practicality of an AMG GT. So the new AMG Panamericana grille is a real eye-catcher. This unique feature also comes from the world of motorsport and is celebrating its standard production premiere in the AMG GTR. Its 15 chrome-plated vertical fins cite the look of the new AMG GT3 racing car. The basic form of the new radiator grill goes back to the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL racing car that won the legendary Panamericana road race in Mexico back in 1952. New side sill panels make the vehicle look with an even lower sta stance on the road, while inserts in high-gloss black set an individual tone. The same applies to the high-gloss black caps on the housing of the door mirrors. The AMG GTR comes as a standard with a roof made of high-grade carbon to underscore the high-contrast look of the vehicle. The rear end of the car also features numerous conspicuous innovations. The new aluminum sidewalls widen the rear of the AMG GTR by a total of 57 millimeters, creating space for the larger 20-inch wheels and the wider track, necessarily. Both measures make for improved traction while allowing higher cornering speeds. The AMG 4-liter twin-turbo engine in the AMG GTR has an output of 585 horsepower, which is 75 horsepower more than the previous top-of-the-range engine in the GTS, for instance. The peak torque of 700 newton meter is available between 1900 and 5500 RPMs. The increase in performance was achieved with the help of new turbochargers. The new AMG GTR is even more sensitive to steering inputs thanks to the standard fit active rear wheel steering, which is being used for the first time on a Mercedes AMG model. The system offers an ideal combination of agility and stability, handling characteristics that are normally in direct conflict. What does this result in? Up to a speed of 100 kilometers, the rear wheels are turned in the opposite direction to the front wheels, corresponding to a virtual shortening of the wheelbase. And once the car goes past 100 kilometers per hour, the rear wheels turn in the same direction, meaning more precise handling through those tight corners. 
The advantage of the AMG GTR is far more agile when steering into bends, resulting in an even greater driving enjoyment and less steering effort. The specifically developed exhaust system not only delivers genuine racing car sound, it also saves around six kilograms of weight compared with the AMG GTS, thanks to your use of titanium for the rear silencer and thin-walled stainless steel for the front section of the exhaust system. The ex ex exhaust system features two infinitely variable exhaust flaps as standard, which have a direct influence on the sound of the AMG GTR. A host of further measures contributes to weight reduction as part of the AMG lightweight performance strategy. Now weighing in at just the 13.9 kilograms, the carbon fiber torque tube is about 40% lighter than its already weight-optimized aluminum counterpart in the AMG GT. Another technical highlight improving the aerodynamics of the AMG GTR is the active air management system. This system has vertical louvers positioned in the lower area directly behind the front fascia. These louvers are electronically controlled and can be opened and closed in around a second by an electric motor to improve the airflow and consequently the aerodynamic performance. <coughs> the AMG GTR Sports AMG Performance 5 twin spoke forged wheels are in matte black. The lightweight design of the wheels has three advantages. It reduces the overall weight, the rotary mass, and the unsprung masses. Efficiency and performance are enhanced, while the wheel suspension and steering deliver even more precise response, all of which also has a positive effect on the chassis and suspension control system. Attention to detail is also echoed in the AMG drive unit controls. They are arranged like eight cylinders in a V layout emphasizing the powerful and high-tech impression made by the center console. Like the exterior, the interior of the AMG GTR has been intricately designed and detailed in every aspect. From the yellow seat belts to the AMG performance seat, the interior spells the absolute luxury and sportiness. As you see here, the iconic AMG crest is intricately embossed in the center armrest as well. And in those rare moments when you may want to hear more than the beautiful AMG growl, the Burmeister high-end sound system with 11 high-end speakers and including subwoofer in the rear for perfect music reproduction and an 11-channel amplifier with a total system output of 1,000 watts will ensure that music never sounded better than in the cabin of the AMG GTR. The high-performance composite brake system ensures excellent deceleration and high fade resistance. A ceramic high-performance composite brake system is available as an option. The advantages of this system are a weight saving of 17 kilograms, a longer service life, and even better fade resistance thanks to the ceramic brake discs. We truly believe in giving our customers the best and hassle-free ownership experience. We have two service packages on offer for both these amazing cars. The comprehensive Star Ease compact package for the AMG GTR Roadster and AMG GTR for three years is rupees 92,000 only, and for four years it's 160,000 rupees with unlimited mileage. To take personalized to the next level, both these beauties are completely customized under the Designio platform, which we launched only two years ago. Mercedes-Benz Designio offers a host of individualization options to choose from exclusive paint finishes, high-quality interior, appointments, trims, and features from our gamut. Designio appointments enhance the unmatched variety that a patron can create for their own highly individualized AMG. On 11th of August, we shared with you all the latest conquest of the beast of the green hell. The AMG GTR became the fastest production car to lap the boot international circuit, bettering the existing record by a total of three seconds. We cannot hold our excitement and would like to show you the video of this fastest lap ever achieved by the AMG GTR.
who just created the fastest ever lap of a production car ever at Booth International Circuit. We disseminated this information to you on 11th of August. And Mr. Falger, here he is, and with a photo opportunity. Chris, we can, you can do with a better, bigger smile. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you look towards your left kindly, towards here. Yes, now towards the center. And now gradually towards your right. Do the car open doors? Yes, I think. Uh, You'll know. Just quickly. Once again, towards your left, then towards the middle, and towards your right. May I request Mr. Falger now, if you can join Chris for a quick photo opportunity, both of you together with the car. Please have a seat, guys. No, we'll come in. We'll come into that later on. You can have plenty of possibilities. Let us we'll have use uh, his time and make a short interview with him. Yeah. So please. Get and request seated. again, our photographer friends will have enough time after the presentation is over, and please allow your colleagues seated in the back to have a look at both of the gentlemen and the car. Mr. Folger, over to you for a quick chat with Chris. Thank you. Just to rehash again, I mean, Chris was the guy who you just saw on the video. He was doing that personally, so I think congratulations are in order. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks Extremely well done. We're very proud, not only of the car, of you and the whole team. And I just wanted to share a few things with him in question that were also plaguing me when I saw that video, and that was predominantly, how does it feel if you suddenly are on boot circuit and you're driving this car? What, is your first, what was your first impressions there? Like always, if I can try drive a car like this, I'm, yeah, it, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but nevertheless, it was demanding. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, finally, we did it with a good team effort and with this fantastic car. Yeah, we did it. Very good. Very proud of, of, of all of us. Very good. Congratulations again to the whole team as well. Now, the next question that I would have is, uh, how does now the green hell that we've heard so much about, and how does that driving there, how does that compare to wood circuit here in Delhi? Yeah, it's, uh, first of all, it's obvious both are two fantastic tracks, and, uh, but nevertheless, the first impression is the temperature. <laughs> it's, it's quite different. From the Nordsch life, it's always a little bit chilly there, and here it's quite warm. And uh, yeah, as a driver in the race gear and with a the helmet, then uh, it's demanding. But uh, yeah, the, the track I like a lot. I get used to it. I was the first time here. And uh, I think you have a really, really nice track here around. And uh, again, with that uh, fantastic car, it doesn't matter if I'm on the Nordschleife or on the other race track or here on Bote International Circuit. It was fantastic. Very good to hear that. Uh, one last question, and then we'll close that uh, quick Q&A. Um, what would be your recommendation to our Indian AMG customers and aficionados? What would you tell them? What should they focus on? What should they be doing when they get into this beautiful car? Yeah, to be honest, this is a legal street car with a pure uh, DNA of a race car. So I have to say one thing, this car belongs to a racetrack. Please test it if you have the opportunity to do that and uh, yeah, feel free. Perfect. Thank you very much then again. Uh, again, congratulations to you and the team. Well done, extremely well done. We have a new record holder and he's standing right here next to me. So thanks for sharing your time with us. And again.
So we come to the final announcement, which is the pricing. So now, prices as announced. The GTR is priced at 2.23 crores onwards, depending naturally on availability. And with that, I come to the end of my presentation. Thank you all for taking the time to be with us here today. I wanted to thank everybody for preparing this. These are two beauties that we're extremely proud of. And with that, I'll hand it back to Shekhar. Thanks a lot again. Thank you, Mr. Folger. Uh, 209853, I think that's the number that's going to stay uh, at BIC for quite a long time, we are sure. Thanks once again, all of you friends, for uh, investing with your time with us here today. We have uh, absolutely two marvelous cars with us. And uh, pose this, we request again, Mr. Folger, to kindly pose with both the beauties. And we have another uh, photo opportunity pose that will start with our press interactions. And we'll, uh, our PR colleagues will assist you with that. Thank you once again. Fifty years of driving performance. Remember, Lewis, this is Green Hell. Take care. Well, I'm doing, man. Fifty years of driving performance.